Masing has acquired 115 acres of prime freehold land in Cyberjaya and is hoping to construct a medium to high end residential development named Garden Residence, expected to have a gross development value or GDV of 690 million ringgit. Its group managing director, Tan Sri Leong Hoi Kum, says the development will be constructed in two phases, with phase one consisting of 267 units of superlinks and 124 units of semi-detached home, while phase two will consist of 284 units of semi-detached and 70 units of villas. Complete our show village by early next year. We should contribute to our earning by next year. We should, because the project, basically we have, uh, actually we are going to launch in two phases. Uh. So the first phase will comprise of uh, the Superlink home and the semi-D. So we should be able to lock in about 30 to 40 percent of our revenue, total revenue of 619 million. As you know, we are very quick turnaround developer. We, we, uh, we, will, we will try to complete this project within the three years. Speaking to reporters after the signing ceremony with Satya Haruman, Cyberjaya's master developer, Leong says the land was acquired for 130.5 million ringgit with 20% internal funding and the rest from external borrowings. Masing has also opined to purchase 6.32 acres of Ejedin commercial land at 79 ringgit per square feet within six months from the date of the signing of the sales and purchase agreement. He adds that the first phase with an estimated GDV of 250 million ringgit would be launched early next year, while the launch date of the second phase with an estimated GDV of 440 million ringgit would depend on the demand and take-up rate of phase one. He says the acquisition of the land in Cyberjaya was in line with Massing's view that the property market has stabilized and will recover in the second half of 2010. For the rest of 2009, we shall continue launching our project as per our planning since last year. Since we also have achieved our budget, actually the full year budget, 1.2 times, but we are still continue to launch, uh, maybe in a smaller number so that we can further evaluate. We believe the market has picked up. That's why it's uh, time to acquire property, uh, to, to actually buy, more, buy property. On a separate matter, Leong says the sales of Massing's property has exceeded full-year forecast by 1.2 times, reaching 543 million ringgit in less than eight months. The group's unbuilt sales stood at 800 million ringgit and would take about two to three years to be realized. He says the recent gains on the equity market will also have a spillover effect on the property sector as properties are the best investments against inflation. As you can see from the recent uh, uh, equity market, I think the short run, it will be a spillover uh, wealth creation, you know. So when people make money in the stock market, the first thing they think of is to invest into property. Why? Because property is still the best hedge uh, against inflation. Uh, as I always say, uh, oil prices keep moving up. Now it's about $69 to $70. Uh, I think inflationary pressure is coming. So definitely house prices is coming up so is next year. He says the company is bullish on the market and is optimistic the trend will continue leading to a full recovery next year. Together with Garden Resident Project, Massing has a total of 17 projects with remaining GDV and unbuilt sales of approximately 4.4 billion ringgit. We have a very healthy balance sheet and with potential watches that we actually plan, 800 million to 900. So we will use the watches intend to continue to look up for large bank for potential mass housing project in Malaysia as well as to explore overseas opportunity in countries like China and Vietnam which enjoy 
high population growth. The company is also considering on acquiring more land banks in the Klang Valley and hopes to conclude about three to four deals by the end of this year.